up they go with the first in the bounce. Fell at their feet. James is there. Diving in Primus. He's over the ball. Dragged down. There we go. Not completely unexpected, but they have to be careful. Free kick. Lucked out of this. It's going to lead. Big roar. On the toss, they get the first free kick. First kick. There's a fight inside the centre square. Two players wrestle. Meantime... Here's an opportunity, Burgoyne on the first. That would have been a classic start, but he's missed. It's that kind of speed, a few of those players in the Perth port side, and uh, Burgoyne was an example of that. Hit the pack hard, got the crumbing position, and uh, broke clear. But at mid midfield flurry, it has to be controlled aggression under pressure. Prosciutto. around Australia to Football Park in Adelaide. Showdown number one. Less than a minute play. Port scored a behind. They won the toss. They're going right to left. Here's Smart winning in the race to the ball. Lead is with him across the line it goes. Glorious day in Adelaide. Very gentle crossing breeze blowing towards the outer side. Port bench. A real sense of occasion. Primus and Gilligan. Down it comes. Scrambly in that pack. Bond nicely away. Primus. Harry kick towards the wing. Floats close to the boundary line. Downsborough tries to touch it. I think he did a pretty good job in a tight situation. With me this afternoon, Peter McKenna and Lee Matthews. Good afternoon, Dennis and Lee. And the ball on centre wing. This first few minutes, very, very important in the context of this game. Rusciuto with a quick hand pass back towards uh, Downsborough, in fact. Now, Fabian Francis races in after it. He's got Costa there against him. A quick hand pass comes out in the direction of Bickley, who was maybe ridden in the ground. The umpire didn't think so. Brown kicks it away. The umpire says, it's my ball, and he will bounce it half back area for Port Adelaide. Young umpire umpiring his first game, Michael Labon. So he'll be a pretty nervous... Uh, Young man, Primus, tries to flick it over the back. Coming through his bottom, he loses the ball in the tackle. Number 29 there was Kingsley. Now a chance for, for, for the Crows as they go forward over the back. Well done by Mead. It's taken away by Huskus. Huskus drives to centre wing. And a good mark taken down here for the Adelaide Crows. And that is by Kane Johnson. Short towards the middle, ill directed though. This is Wilson currently onto the boot, it bounces to the wing. Lockwood, Brown, upended by Costa. Dickey slides in, tackled there by Johnson, and a whistle on the wing. Emily Matthews, the feel of a grand final about this, despite the fact both teams come in with a record of one and three. Yeah, it's a hot ball at the moment. Uh, the, uh, the players, the tackling pressure has been very good from both sides in this first few minutes. One and two, should we say not preempt things. McCartney one side will have a record of one and three at the end of the afternoon. Johnson avoids half forward. Bond was there. Rusciuto did nicely. Gets it away to support. Wintour's kick ill directed. Wanganeen's in the road. The champ comes away from the half back line towards midfield. Dickey not paid the mark. Bickley falling to the ground. Lockwood tried to knock it on. Opportunity for Wilson across the body. Well played. Taken up the ground by Fabian Francis to the run of Brown. A couple of bounces left half forward. Vacant goal square. He goes for it. Will it run on? Bounces once. Pulls up. Trudenza gets back in the nick of time and touches it right on the line. Cliffhanger. It's a different David Brown in a Port Guernsey, I think. He just looks like he's going a couple of yards of pace, but playing as a genuine on-baller now and uh, running hard with the ball at uh, six inches from a very good start for Port. Uh, Rodney Jamison is a beautiful kick and uh, that was no exception as he finds Mark Rusciuto way out at half back. He drives it low. Oh, some good strong play by Port. Taken by Ben Hart. He's got support from McLeod. McLeod coming through half back and drives it long to half or Nigel Smart on the lead. Couldn't take the mark. Hotly pressing him is Darren Mead. This is Bond. Breaking away with it. That's Shane Bond. On to Fabian Francis, who drives it long. A chance for a mark here by Brewer. Oh, couldn't quite hang on to it. McLeod goes for the boundary line. And it will be a throw-in about 20 metres around from the port goal. Can 
Conditions terrific. Reached our maximum. Things starting to hot up here. Laid. Slaps it wide. Bickley kept it in. Bickley comes away from fullback. In the side with the kick. Running with the flight of the ball is Bicky. Will it sit for him? Nicely played. Lyle. He's about 80 metres from goal. Back towards centre half forward. Well done. In front it's Brewer. Just outside the attacking 50. But in two grand finals. Both of them losing grand finals for the Cats. Floats it down to the pocket. Laid. Well, almost. Close to the line. McLeod comes away. Was pushed in the back. And the ball slides across the face. And will be thrown in. So it's deep in that forward pocket. Port. Impressive so far. They're putting a lot of pressure on the Crows players. Both sides trying to gain the ascendancy early. Downsborough against McCartney. Marcus Shooter crashes his way through the pack. Drives it back. Lyles underneath it. Oh, he's been in good form. He takes a good mark. The Port supporters look on. Very impressed with that mark. So Braden Lyle, former West Coast Eagle, driving it across the ground. Trekinza read it well and has taken the mark. Off he goes. The hand pass out wide. It was by Brett James, the former Collingwood player. Now Brewer gives it off to Fabian Francis. They've got a chance here. This is Cummings. Too slow. That's holding the ball. And he just was not aware, Lee, of the player around him. No, it's easy for us. We've got the whole ground in front of us, but he certainly was always going to have a tackle from behind, but wasn't aware of it uh, holding the ball. Rusciuto, from half back, loses control of the ball, held a long time in the tackle, nothing doing. Bond in the opposite direction. Rebound opportunity, they're caught out. Cummings has got it about 40 minutes from goal. Man runs onto the pocket, that's Wilson. Sharp angle. Certainly. But only about 30 metres from goal. He's on a worse he's, angle. He's put him in a worse position. I mean, he was trying to find the player closer to goal, but uh, he's probably pushed him 10 metres uh, on a tighter angle, and uh, he's closer in, so it's going to be pretty acute from out there. So off in the way, storming up the ground, turn the ball over, exposed, coming back. Wilson kicks hard and kicks truly. to say seven minutes into this game uh, Port have started a bit better a little bit more composure just a bit quicker they've pressured the Crows into errors in this early stage only had three scoring shots when they've all been to Port at this point and uh, again Cummings put Wilson on a pretty acute angle but he had the composure to go back and slot it through well Michael Wilson has kicked the first goal of this game and for Port Adelaide they lead by eight points and a little worrying sign so far as we see Donald Dickey going in taken away by Lay uh, not Lay I should say Lyle centre wing the shooter enormous pressure Brewer was there oh strong tackle by Fabian Francis here's Simon Tregenza driving it down towards Modra at the back couldn't get away with it Wanganeen read it beautifully and some terrific signs for Port Adelaide so far as he drives at the centre wing. But waiting underneath it for the Crows is Tyson Edwards. There's a junior's Wanganuna getting in the right crumbing position for that ball off hands in defence there. Isn't it? Down towards half forward. Loose ball behind the pack. Rintoul. Gilligan's hand pass. Ineffective. James under that pack. Plenty of company. Whistle. Bounce. Brett James, having a very good season so far. Here's John Cale, AFL's oldest coach. Smart through his legs. Bond knocks it out wide. Lyle, Shane Bond, nicely done. Back to Lyle. He's forward of half back. Kicks it down towards half forward. What a body work. McCartney got a fist on it. Lockwood, quick hands away. This is Brewer. Chips towards the pocket. Awkward half volley for Downsborough. Bumped off the ball. Johnson bursts away from half back towards midfield. Rusciuto tumbling. Takes the mark. 
James broadens it. Costa down towards half forward, ill directed. Mead got fingertips to it, knocked it wide. This is Williams off a couple of steps from 48 metres out. Modra in the field of play. I like his chances from here. One of the better exponents of bending it back left to right. In the old days, was running out onto your left side and opening up the uh, angle, but the uh, check side kick, banana, whatever anyone calls it in the modern era, he's good at it, Mike, as you say, Dennis. So kick it hard. Well, he goes around. They should put me on the mark, Lee. Opposite pocket. Nothing doing. A free kick, in fact, is going to port. You talk them out of anything. So this is Gavin Wanganeen. And Brownlow medalist, of course, former Essendon champion. And his experience in defence will be a real plus for Port Adelaide. There's David Brown, a former Crow himself, tapping it over the line. Unable, actually, to David Brown. He played 73 AFL games, but he was in and out of that Crow side. Number 31 is young Tom Gilligan, beaten by Primus. Here's Brown. On the right foot, Tregenza. A quick kick to the half-forward line. All oh, courage was needed there. Sock it off the ground. Well played to allow, that was by me, to allow Dickey to bring it in towards the half-forward line. Hand pass by Tyson Edwards. Back it comes and he races through the middle. He brings it in towards the half-forward line. The diving mark is by Barry Stanfield. He is 45 metres from goal, almost directly in front. The former Bulldog. And it was just a dual attack there. Stanfield went one way, Modra went the other way. And uh, Edwards just picked out Stanfield as the better option, and it proved to be. So Barry Stanfield, the boy from Fish Creek, for the first goal for the Crows, he drives a goal across the face slightly. No mark. It's thumped away. And uh, we see Wanganeen taking the ball to the line. Very, very experienced. And he sees it over. Just under 11 minutes, still quarter time. Caught by eight points. The Crows yet to score. The Brie is not a factor. Very gentle across the ground, as we said at the outset. Gilligan up very high, knocks it down. Kingsley had it then, lost it. Bickley hand passes towards the square. Fumble from Rintoul. The moment was lost. Dickey back quickly, slaps it across the line. I think we were wondering how the pressure of this occasion would affect both these sides. One has to say, that it's uh, Adelaide at the moment, uh, the Crows, who just looked a bit fumbly. Axman, short, Euskis, in the back pocket, with time, poor kick. The numbers certainly favour the Crows on the wing. Johnson, bouncing around, look away, hand pass, effective enough. McCartney to Costa, confronted, goes back towards Johnson. This is awkward now, Johnson slaps at Goldwood. In the opposite direction down there is Dickey. Broke the tackle. Bond, Lyle. Lyle kicking down towards Harcourt. Not his best attempt. In front is Hart. Heads for the line. No, he kept it in. He did not keep it in. Walking the tightrope. So boundary throw in down towards the attacking 50 for Port. Ben Hart, a young veteran. Has never been in this situation before. Hometown rivalry. Rucks go at it, laid, virtually laid it down in front of Brewer. Burgoyne concedes some ground, Dickey falling to the ground. Burgoyne again, slick. Lockwood couldn't control it. Johnson charges through, Primus. Bouncing off him was James. And there will be a ball up right on the wing. Again at the base of that pack. Bit of feeling Gets out there. A little testy. Always doing the muscle tango early in this game. We expected that. So Downsborough off the ground and Franco is on. As McLeod drives it back to Wanganeen. Oh, gee, oh, he's hurt there. He is in trouble, Gavin Wanganeen. This is rotten luck. He is in agony riding on the ground. Now let's hope that is not too serious. Let's hope it's not a knee bang across his... Right on the hip, oh, I think. Oh, he's in a lot of pain, the captain. A gutsy little fellow too. He's up. Well, they might have to take him off, they do, or that would be a huge loss to Port. And we we'll see him there riding on the ground in replay. The ball at half-court for Adelaide. Wanganeen has been carried off. And he was...
would be a huge loss, Lee. Absolutely, yes. It's hard to tell from uh, that footage. It was a good shot, but it was still hard to tell uh, what got hurt, whether it was a knock on his thigh or knee, but he's immediately going uh, into the dress room, so we'll get a report on that. In the meantime, the Crows go for it. Here's Donald Dickey driving it out towards centre wing, a one-on-one -on -one contest to Ginger and Fabian Francis. There's a bit of skill between those two. Here's James on the McLeod. The Crows go forward through McLeod, down to half forward, but they are repelled as Adam Huskis takes a safe mark. Huskis gallops away. He's at half back towards midfield. Franco's in front. Almost a clever mark. Tackle from behind. Hart got him. It comes back to Hart. Jarred loose. Rintoul met solidly. This is Carr just on the ground. Dragged down. We're going in hard. Coming out head first. A throw there. And Tyson Edwards. So you wonder about the absence of Wanganeen. What sort of message does that send to players of both teams out there? Very much the spiritual leader of Port. Most decorated player on the ground. Bond dragged down. Poster on the boot. High. Mead from behind. James waiting in front. Off his step. Long kick to the pocket. Reaching over the top. Modra. Trumming his stand field. Back to Modra. Wasn't his intention. But the Crows will take it. I think take it they will it's a question of getting the scoreboard ticking over from the goals point of view and uh, the Crows have struggled to do that halfway through this uh, first quarter but uh, Modra is looking dangerous down there uh, that first mark then it was just really a question of rebounding and getting in the right spot but it pretty much fell in his arms goal this last week 12 for the season 15 meters out he's got it there's a point for difference Yes, and uh, I mean, the uh, reports, uh, performances are probably finally balanced, and using Wanganoon is probably going to be a major blow, but just the tackling in midfield has been fantastic from both sides. You really have to get rid of the ball pretty quickly, and there, Jay just reacted. Quick the ball along, as we saw four. Ford came to ground there. It was Modra just pretty much straight into his hand. It may have well gone through if the ball had kept running anyway. Good effort by Stanfield. So Port now lead by a point after that goal to Modra. Crowd is, uh, it was almost deafening the noise after that goal as we see Primus bring it to the half forward line. A pack developed. Here's Brewer waiting for the bounce. Oh, Lyle just a little fumble. Kane Johnson's after him. Here's Brett James. Oh, gets it to Tyson Edwards. That was pretty smart. Towards centre wing, and the mark has been taken by Chad Rintoul. He gives it off to Marcus Schudo, who drives it with a low kick down towards full court. Strong tackle by Stanfield. Wilson's in there after it. It's a loose ball at halfback. This is Mead breaking away with the ball and he brings it out towards centre wing and he finds Braden Lyle. He can go with a little chip pass. Fabian Francis on the end of it. Francis at centre wing, drives it long. Beautiful looking kick to the half forward line. McCartney at the back. It's thumped away. Here's Brewer. He's also got support here from Burgoyne. Burgoyne round the corner. There's plenty of Crows players underneath this one. And it is Jamison to take the mark. Jamison goes short. Costa is at right half back. Good chase from Cummings. Testing the Costa knee as the ball comes up towards the wing. Mead across the boundary line. Neil Curley is directly in front of you, Neil. What about this opening and what about the injury to Gavin Wanganee? Yes, well, that Wanganee, as uh, Matty reported, is an ankle injury, unfortunately. The pressure down here is, as you've called it, very, very intense. Run in Primus, looking for clean possession. Did it nicely. Kingsley stabs it up towards the flank. This is Franco. Dickey cruises past. Big space for Cummings behind the pack on the 50. He goes in that direction. Cummings works his way off his man, almost the mark. Play on's the call. Knocks it to Burgoyne. He's deep in the pocket. He's elusive. He throws it on the left. The first poster of showdown one. Landmarks all the way this afternoon, Pete. He's got some talent, that young player. And the whole speed, the ground level speed, when the ball is falling loose, it seems to be Port players who are pouncing on the ball the quickest at this time. Yeah, Rodney Jamison will find Bond at halfback. Beautifully directed kick, as we come to expect. This is Troy Bond. Finds McCartney. McCartney gives it off to Hart. 
undertook the injury, loves to run and bounce. That's his second. Will he go again? No, he won't. He drives it with a wobbly kick. That's one of his weaknesses. Uh, his disposal at times, Simon Trigenza, is pretty ordinary. And the ball is forced over the line at half forward for the Crows. So 50 metres out from goal. Talking football. Monday nights, of course. Left foot is by Nigel Smart. Down towards the moderate direction. Here's Adam Huskis. Gives it off to Bond. And they're working pretty hard. Port down there in defence. It's Bond with a long kick out in the direction of Fabian Francis. Didn't attempt the mark. Should go for the line here. Oh, oh he beat them all. That was brilliant by the little wingman. Fantastic. The crowd loved that. Up towards half forward. Here's Franco. Good play as he gives it off again. Now Brewer. Now Burgoyne. This talented young player has got it. Gives it back to Huskis, who drives it in towards half forward. Not a lot happening for them up forward court. Ben Hart dives on it. Bumped off it. Cummings in after it. Oh, McCartney went in hard. And the umpire will come in and bounce. You get the feeling, Lee. They don't doubt they can play with the Crows. No, well, it's just their ground level speed that's impressing me at the moment. They just look zippier at, uh, at ground level. But uh, still, nothing in the game. Not awestruck by any stretch of the imagination. Laid to Brown. Dragged off it. Rusciuto against the flow. Well done. Showed some courage. Johnson. Bit of hand pass. Elected to kick. Bond comes away from defence towards midfield. Williams. Awkward half body. Couldn't control it. Outnumbered. Carr. Looping hand pass. Brown hurriedly upended. Thump down he went. Going back to mark is held by Jamison. Walked into it nicely by Ben Hart. Out wide Bond. Getting possessions. Tough day for the Bond family. One on either side. And the ball bounces out of bounds further up the field. So just over three minutes till quarter time. Young Carr in the action early. Kevin Wanganin off the ground. Real tragedy. Primus in front. Directs it down. Brown. James missed it. Kingsley's got it. Good tackle laid there by James. Primus with the run of it. Nice decoy. Kicks inside the 50. Cummings manhandled. No kick. Burgoyne. Live wire on the forward line. Still he goes. Snaps. Is it good? No, it's not. Behind. Boy, live wire's right. Burgoyne at the moment. Every time the ball goes in there and the ball comes off the hands of the uh, poor players for key forwards, Cummings isn't really looking like marking the ball in the contest. But gee, Burgoyne is very quick to get to the crummy position up there. Saw that close up of him. He looks so young, but uh, he is so talented. Half back. Tap further afield. Trick ends up lying underneath it. David Brown shoved in the back. It had to be a free kick for Brown. He was shut right in the middle. And not a lot happening for Port once they get to the forward line as their uh, supporters back at the club look on. And that's a good pass because. He has found Brewer inside 50. Brewer is a pretty good kick for goal. Yes, good uh, 60 metre kick. He was never going to score from there, but Brewer's now still not an easy shot. He's going to be kicking from almost 50 metres, but some chance. Well, they lead by three points, Port Adelaide. And this one, a low trajectory kick is offline, and yet another behind. Now Shane Brewer, the former cat. One goal, five from six scoring shots. Not quite good enough. The Crows defence doing well. Rodney Jamison is a beautiful kick, and he can see someone out wide. And a 65-metre kick will find that man. And it's Chad Rintoul. Miss from Antle. He's at left half back. Goes long towards the wing. Gilligan, Primus, up they go. Primus content to knock it down. James, well done. Slick hands. Tregenza hurriedly. Gains about 25 metres. Bond's in the road. Back come the power. Around the outer side, Bond to Wilson. Backs off his man. Centres it now. Good call from Lyle. Called out Brown. He runs to the 50. He's normally a pretty good kick. Sets it up for Cummings. Almost on the chest. Play on the call. Cummings incensed. The man coming back with the flight of the ball certainly pushed him in the chest. Been much, much more lenient this year. The umpires giving the player running with the flight of the ball a bit more chance to spoil, aren't they? 
Rintoul comes away, kicks it down towards the half-forward line for his team. Tregenza nicely done, smart, out wide. This is Bond. He's been good to the pocket. Modra controls it brilliantly. He's got one. It's that great upward leap, wasn't it? The pass wasn't exactly out in front of him from Bond. It was sort of fairly much above his head, but uh, Modra's ability to to run pretty much flat out and then climb into the air from the front position enables him to get up for those overhead marks when many others couldn't. Very sharp angle to the square. Stanfield, almost a mark, you know. Coming through his brown, though. Williams stopped him. Slapped out wide by Carr and across the line. Well, it's a game of defences at the moment, Lee. You can see by the low scoring, one goal each. Well, I suppose it's the seven scoring shots to Port, to two to Adelaide. They've certainly had the shots, Port, but uh, haven't been able to uh, kick too many big majors. Yeah, big Primus doing well in the ruck. Drives out of the danger area and mobile as a crowd roar as Ben Hart puts Franco over the fence. But uh, he's doing very well, Primus, in the ruck. Yes, I know. Well, uh, he, and he should really, as we mentioned before the game, Gilligan really is not one of the probably top three or four ruckmen for the pros so Primus should be able to give some bit of dominance in there even for the well, there he is again getting it out to Bond Bond will chip it across he's in plenty of use of the ball at the moment this is Fabian Francis Port looking quite dangerous off the side of the boot slightly but it may come off of the fly was by Brewer but the punch away lands with Simon Tregenza the lead is on again that kick not good by Tregenza and the mark has been taken by Huskis this is Carr. Out of the back pocket towards the wing. Nothing on. He's trying for the boundary line. And goes across. Well, he found the boundary line and the siren. That's good planning. Interesting first term. Now, there's a room that's known a few celebrations. Albert and Oval. Certainly, the quarter hasn't gone the way the Crows would have been hoping or even the Optimus may have expected. Certainly, Port have won that first quarter quite comfortably. Uh, certainly, from the Crows' point of view, it's only five behind so for, therefore the margin is uh, very narrow but certainly in general play uh, the quarter very much belonged to Port not what a lot of the Crow supporters would have expected when they come today. Have they squandered too many opportunities? 1-6 to 1-1 one, one. quarter time showdown number one. Start of the second term then sell out crowd at football park Port Adelaide the newcomers in front after they won the toss no advantage to either end Certainly settled down the quicker. Bad bounce that time. It's fisted down towards half forward by Wilson. Johnson got a.